In this video, we continue with chapter 8.4, where we are going to talk about how to find the Euclidean inner product, the Euclidean norm, and Euclidean distance in complex and dimensional vector spaces. Uh, and we're also going to recognize and see some examples of complex inner product spaces. So let's start here by defining the Euclidean inner product in CN, the n-dimensional complex numbers. So we're going to let u and v be vectors in CN, then the Euclidean inner product uh, which we can call u dot v, is u1 multiplied by the conjugate of v1 plus u2 multiplied by the conjugate of v2 added through un multiplied by the conjugate of vn. So just remember the conjugate is where you change sign on the imaginary part. And then uh, our remark here is that if u and v have real components, then this definition just agrees with the dot product in Rn because there's no imaginary part to conjugate, right? If they're just all real, then it's just u1, v1, plus u2, v2 through u and vn. So when we include uh, complex numbers, we have this conjugate um, difference in the u1, v1 through u and vn calculation. But if everything's real, nothing changes. All right, so let's find the Euclidean inner product of these two vectors, u and v. So to do that, I component-wise multiply my values here. I do take the conjugate of v. So notice the first components here that I multiply are negative i. And then the conjugate of the imaginary part of this first component of v is going to be a negative 3i. So I've got negative i uh, multiplied by negative 3i. And then I've got uh, 2i multiplied by 0. That's going to 0 out for us. And then my last calculation here is 1 minus i, and it's going to get multiplied by 1 minus 2i. So you can see here, I've taken the conjugate of uh, v3. All right, so then I show my multiplication here. The negative i times negative 3i just works out to be a positive 3 times negative 1, because you get the i squared in there. 2i times 0 is 0 for us. And then we distribute through. Uh, this last term, we get a 1 minus 2i minus i plus uh, 2 times negative 1. That negative 1 comes from the i squared. And then when we combine like terms, we get a negative 3 plus uh, negative 1. All that's minus 3i. So we end up with a negative 4 minus 3i. So the important difference when you're doing the Euclidean inner product for complex numbers is to remember to take the conjugate of the second vector v. Theorem 8.7 is about the properties of the Euclidean inner product. So if u, v, and w are vectors in the n-dimensional complex numbers and k is a complex number, then these properties are true. So if you think back to well, what happened if we did u dot v in the opposite order, we'd have u conjugate multiplied by v if we did you know v dot u. So it works out that u dot v is the same as the conjugate of v dot u, and we're going to prove that property below. Property two here is the distributive property. So we see this works similar to um, a normal uh, real numbered inner product space. Uh, K distributes through to u dot v in properties three and four, what's important to notice is if you have the K multiplied by the V here uh, in property four with U dot KV, then it's a K conjugate that gets pulled out. Uh, U dot U is always gonna be greater than or equal to zero and U dot U equals zero, if and only if U equals zero. So the proofs of these are very similar to the same uh, theorem that we did for the uh, real inner products earlier in the semester. So you can look back at that proof uh, for parts two through six and see that they were very similar. For property one, let's take a look at the proof here. So u is component-wise u1 through un, and v is component-wise v1 through vn. So then uh, v dot u conjugate is v1 u1 conjugate plus v2 u2 conjugate through vn un conjugate all conjugated. That's the bar across the top. And then we can conjugate each term and we see, well, that just flips around to be V1 conjugate U1 plus V2 conjugate U2 through Vn conjugate Un. And then we can multiply these in the opposite order. And so we just end up back with U1 V1 conjugate through Un Vn conjugate added together, which is just U dot V. 
Okay, so the Euclidean inner product in the n-dimensional complex number Cn is used to define the Euclidean norm or the length of a vector in Cn and the Euclidean distance between two vectors in Cn. So let's take a look at that. The norm is uh, u dot u to the one half. So the norm is also called the length of a vector u in Cn. Same uh, notation that we use for the real numbers. And then the Euclidean distance between u and v is the norm of u minus v. It might be a little easier to write the norm and distance formula in terms of the components of the vectors. So you can see it's uh, the distance formula is u1 minus v1 squared, um, the norm of u1 minus v1 squared plus the norm of u2 minus v2 squared through the norm of un minus vn squared all to the one half power of un square root it. And then the norm of u is u norm of u1 squared plus uh, norm of u2 squared through the norm of un squared all to the one half power. So let's take a look at this. Um, so we've got uh, v equals one minus two i in the first component, i in the second component, three i in the four, third, com fourth, third component and one plus i in the fourth component. So I should add in here uh, v4 norm squared also in this um, norm of v here. So when we calculate through, uh, we're gonna have for the first component negative one squared plus negative two squared. Uh, the second component, there's no real part of the second entry, so it's zero squared plus one squared. The uh, third entry is a three i, so again, no real component, so it's zero squared plus three squared. The fourth component is one plus i, so our coefficients are one for both those terms, so that's one squared plus one squared. If we square these out and add everything up, we get a sum of 17 here to the one half power. So you could say 17 to the one half power or square root of 17. All right, let's take a look at an example of the distance formula. So we wanna find the distance between uh, vector u, which equals two plus i comma zero comma four minus five i in that third component and vector v, which is one plus i in the first component, two plus i in the second component and zero in the third component. So these are in C3 because they each have three components. So the distance formula is the norm of u minus v. And so you can see here, we're gonna take the norm of uh, one, <laughs> in the first entry because uh, the i's cancel out and two minus one is one. The second entry, it's gonna be zero minus two minus i, so you get negative two minus i. And the third entry is four minus five i here because it's four minus five i minus zero right here for the u minus v calculation. And then uh, we're just gonna square each coefficient in here. So we get one squared plus zero squared for the first component negative two squared plus negative one squared for the second component uh, based on the coefficients we have here for the real and imaginary parts of the complex numbers. And then the last component is four squared plus negative five squared. So when we add all that up, we get a 47 to the one half power, or you could just say square root of 47. Let's take a look at complex inner product spaces. So the Euclidean inner product is the most common used inner product in CN. On occasion, however, it is useful to consider other inner products. So to generalize the notion of an inner product, we're gonna use those same properties that we saw back in theorem 8.7 a little bit ago. Those were the properties for the Euclidean inner, inner product. So we are gonna generalize those properties to general complex inner products. So we let u and v be vectors in a complex vector space. A function that associates u and v with the complex number uh, u comma v in these uh, inner product brackets is known as a complex inner product when it satisfies these properties below. So the inner product of u and v is equal to the conjugate of the inner product of v in u. Uh, u plus v inner product with w is equal to u uh, inner product with w plus v inner product w. And k u, k multiplied by vector u inner product with v, where k is a constant, equals k 
multiplied by UV. So notice the K there is on the first component. And that's why we don't have to conjugate it. And then uh, U in a product with itself is always going to be greater than or equal to zero. And U in a product with itself is zero if and only if U is a zero vector. A complex vector space with a complex inner product is called a complex inner product space or also known as a unitary space. So let's take a look at an example. So we're going to let U be uh, U1, U2, and V is V1, V2. These are vectors in C2, the two-dimensional complex space. And we want to show that this function here, uh, U1 multiplied by V1 conjugate plus two U2 multiplied by V2 conjugate is a complex inner product. So to do that, just like we did with real inner products, we're gonna verify the properties. So there are four properties here of a complex inner product space for us to verify. So let's take a look at property one. So we have to show that the inner product of U and V is the same as the conjugate of the inner product of V and U. So here we'll start with the conjugate of the inner product of V and U. So that's uh, V1U1 conjugate plus 2V2U2 conjugate, all conjugated. That's the bar across the top. And so that just becomes U1V1 conjugate plus 2U2V2 conjugate, which is just U in a product with V. Next, for property two, we check U plus V in our product with W under this definition. So notice when we do this definition, there's a two in the second term. And then we can distribute the W conjugate through here uh, because W is the second term here. Notice it's got the conjugates. And then we end up here with U1, W1 conjugate multiplied plus 2U2, W2 conjugate plus V1, W1 conjugate plus 2V2, W2 conjugate. And so that's just U in a product with W under this definition plus V in a product with W under this definition. Property three is all about the constant K. Remember K is a complex number. So uh, K U in a product with V is K U uh, one V one conjugate plus two K U two V two conjugate. And then we can just factor the K right out of there. And so we get K multiplied by the inner product of U and V. And remember if it was uh, K with the second term, we have a conjugate come out somewhere there. And then U inner product with itself is U1 multiplied by U1 conjugate plus 2 U2 multiplied by U2 conjugate. So that's just uh, the norm of U1 squared plus two times uh, the norm of U2 squared. And that's obviously going to be greater than or equal to zero. And then obviously this is only zero if each of the term components U1 and U2 are zero. So all these properties hold. So we've shown that U inner product V as defined by U1 V1 conjugate plus two U2 V2 conjugate is an inner product. So that gives an overview of chapter 8.4 and you'll do some problems in the group discussion and in your lab assignment. We're also gonna cover chapter 8.5 in the group discussion and the lab assignment. So you can watch those videos next.